Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this year's Read Poster Honor Ceremony. My name is Tanner Louie. I'm the Outreach and Evening Librarian at Hoover Library, and I'm also your host for the evening. Whether you're joining us live on YouTube Premiere or Zoom or watching later, thank you all so much for taking the time to help us celebrate our fantastic honorees this year. The selection of this year's honorees was particularly difficult because we had so many impressive nominees. If the person you nominated was not selected, we truly hope you'll consider nominating them again next year. Before we announce our 2021 honorees and officially reveal their posters, here's a little background information. The American Library Association began the Read Poster campaign more than 25 years ago, and it has since become an internationally recognized program that promotes a simple but powerful message. And that message is to read. Some of the world's best known faces from the 80s to now have graced these posters, from Stephen Hawking to Baby Yoda to David Bowie. By capturing high-profile, admired celebrities with their favorite books, the campaign promotes reading and literacy, something we library folk take very seriously. At Hoover Library, our admired celebrities are students, faculty, and staff of the McDaniel College community who exceptionally support, promote, and utilize the library and its resources and services. During National Library Week, we honor six standout individuals who have consistently gone above and beyond in their support and utilization of Hoover Library's resources and services. We are so grateful to have this opportunity to recognize and thank them. We're so close to revealing this year's posters, but first, we want to take a moment to recognize and thank our 2020 honorees once more. Ethan Cortez, Ellie Engel, Vanessa Florinikovsky, Hannah Honick, Kathy Mangan, and Haley Morgan. We are truly grateful to have amazing community members like you supporting, promoting, and utilizing Hoover Library. And so now, without any further ado, let's get started and reveal those posters. Our first honoree is Amanda Gelber, the Director of Student Engagement. In only a couple of years at McDaniel, Amanda has quickly become a major supporter and partner to Hoover Library. Her nominators describe her as an unabashed bookworm and voracious reader, and she has used that passion to establish and co-run the opt-in common reading slash book club for first-year students this past fall, as well as put on various Office of Student Engagement events with reading and writing themes that have important impacts on society, such as the program Let's Talk About How to Be an Anti-Racist. From the moment she stepped on campus, she was ready and excited to collaborate with Hoover Library on outreach and programming efforts, including for Finals Week and the McDaniel Votes campaign. Amanda demonstrated her advocacy for the library by making sure Hoover Library got its due credit for leading the McDaniel Votes campaign efforts in the lead up to the 2020 presidential election. We are incredibly grateful to have Amanda as a partner and supporter and thank her for standing up and advocating on behalf of the library. Next up is our first student honoree, Elva Joya. As her nominators explain, Elva is an all-around fantastic contribution to the McDaniel community, especially the library. A psychology major with minors in chemistry, biology, and Spanish, Elva is a global fellows and in the honors program and has a great passion and enthusiasm for scholarship and knowledge. While working on her capstone, she connected with multiple librarians with thoughtful, engaging research and significantly used the library's materials and resources. As president of the Hispano-Latinx Alliance, Elva has taken great strides to connect the student group with the library, including connecting the group's historian with the college archivist to ensure the voices of students are heard and preserved in college history. Lastly, Elva has been a regular attendee of library events and programming, even in the midst of COVID, and has enthusiastically voiced her support and appreciation for the library's efforts. Students like Elva truly make our jobs so rewarding, and we are so pleased to recognize her with this honor. Our next honoree is Dr. Gretchen McKay. Dr. McKay is a professor of art history and the faculty athletic representative to the NCAA, and she engages with the library on so many levels. She uses materials borrowed from the library to inspire students in her extremely popular classes and consistently encourages her students to do research 
using library materials, especially for her reacting to the past class. She has also used various library materials and services as she works on her book about mentoring Division III student athletes. Dr. McKay has brought her art history classes to the archives, connecting them with amazing primary source material they may have never known existed if not for her class. Gretchen is even a big supporter of the library on social media, regularly engaging with the library's accounts and sharing how much she loves the library and its librarians. And we love her right back. Thank you, Gretchen, for being such an overall fantastic library supporter in so many ways. Next up is our second student honoree, Matt Pelletier. In addition to being a German major set to graduate this spring, Matt has been a library circulation student worker for three years, providing a friendly helping hand to everyone who stops by the circulation desk. Even with the weirdness brought by new policies in light of COVID-19, Matt has been an ever-reliable and hardworking person, always willing to step in and cover extra shifts when needed. Matt is also a frequent user of library materials and services and attends many of the library's events and programs. We will certainly miss having Matt around, but we are happy to send him off towards graduation with this honor. Our penultimate honoree of the evening is Suzanne Nida. As a senior lecturer of English and the director of college writing and of first year composition, Suzanne has worked extensively with the library over the years to incorporate information literacy into classes for first year students. She acts as a liaison between the library and McDaniel's composition instructors, highlighting the central importance of Hoover Library and its resources and services to newly hired instructors during their summer orientation. By doing so, Suzanne has influenced how our first year students think about the library as a resource. Suzanne has always been ready to step in and help the library as needed, including serving on the search committee for the previous information literacy coordinator, providing feedback on library information literacy lessons, and helping design a new assignment calculator tool developed to help students manage their time best while working on research papers. Suzanne has also partnered with Hoover on major projects, such as the Institute of Museum and Library Services Sparks Grant, which led to grant-funded information literacy activities embedded into English 1002. She has also assisted in Project Standardized Assessment of Information Literacy Skills, or Project Sales, to assess the information literacy acumen of McDaniel students. Suzanne also incorporates information literacy and library materials into her own composition classes and encourages her students to take advantage of the library's resources. We are thrilled to finally bestow Suzanne with this honor and thank her for everything she has done to support Hoover Library. Our final honoree of 2021 is Tom Fazaklia, the Vice President for Administration and Finance. Tom has been instrumental in helping the library make major improvements to the building, including the recent replacement of the chiller for the climate control system and a sorely needed and long overdue roof replacement. He's always ready to work with the library to accomplish our goals and solve problems, and he's truly dedicated to making things better for the students at McDaniel. We are thankful we have this chance to thank Tom and present him with this honor before his well-deserved retirement. There you have it. Those are our 2021 Read Poster honorees. Let's give them all one last well-deserved round of applause. On behalf of the rest of the Hoover Library team, thank you for everything you do for and with the library. We truly appreciate all of your hard work, passion, and commitment to not only supporting Hoover Library, but also to making McDaniel College a truly life-changing place for our community. And a final thank you goes out to everyone who attended our Read Poster Honor Ceremony live and to those who checked out the video later. Fingers crossed we can host an in-person ceremony next year. Happy National Library Week!